Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, a little bit vloggy style, and I'm going to be doing a bedside nursery kind of cleanup, setup, show you guys what I'm going to do for my fourth baby. I've learned a few things and I think I could figure out what I need for those first few months of having a new baby in my room. Show you guys where we're starting and then I'm just gonna like sit down, show you what I'm arranging for the baby and I'm already running out of breath. So for reference I'm 34 weeks pregnant. Now that's kind of crazy and you might be thinking it's too early to do this kind of thing but I've already got three kids. I'm pretty exhausted and tired. I just happened to have a day where the grandparents have the kids, so I thought it would be a really, really good opportunity to clean my room and arrange it for the upcoming baby. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jojo. I post things generally about beauty and motherhood. Um, at the moment, it's all baby related because I am on my fourth baby, my first girl. I'm very excited, so that's gonna be majority of the content as of lately. Um, so yeah, if you are into this, please like and subscribe and join me as we continue to prepare for this next baby. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. Again, it's not huge. Like you can, I've got like a college style kind of bed there just shoved into the corner. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the main focal area that we're gonna focus on and also next to the bed. So yeah, we're gonna jump into a little bit of cleanup first, I think. A little bit of organizing. Right guys, no wonder people film these videos. I never quite understood these clean up with me videos, but now I get it. It's an incentive to clean your house. So I pretty much cleaned as much as I could. I wiped everything down, tried to get the dust off stuff, and I have organized a little bit. So I'll show you what we've got going on. Got my bed made. That was a struggle and a half. I don't know why, but I just struggled with that today. Got my chair, got the Moses basket, my shelves. Now, I wanted to keep this one at least for my things. Um, just because I like I wear my earrings on a daily basis. I've got like my sunscreen up there, some lipstick, some perfume. And this one here I'm going to save for baby things. Um, the shelf, uh, my bedside table, I think I'm going to save for baby things as well. I've just bought some stuff in so that I'm going to show you what I'm going to pull out. Whew, golly, can you hear that I'm puffing? Like, this is, this is tiring. Um, so I'm going to use this little hanger thing for some blankets and keep the bassinet here. Now the story with the bassinet is that it is a friend's. She has lent it to me. Sarah, if you're watching this, please comment why you've lent me this because you are having twins at the same time as me. So bye. And thank you Sarah for it as well. There is a massive possibility that I will not use it because I co-sleep with my babies. Now say what you want but co-sleeping has worked really well for my second and my third son because babies are only for nine months why would they want to be apart from you it makes sense. My husband is not going to be in the bed with me and baby it'll just be our time together and the bassinet will be there just in case we decide to use it if I get you know if she happens to not mind it that would be great. Um, and, and in that case, I will probably probably just like put it right down there next to the bed. But as for now, it will just be 
pretty much her and I just co-sleeping. So I've never really used a Moses basket before, so if anybody has any tips or tricks or anything um, about it, please let me know in the comments as well. Especially with my fourth baby, I know what is gonna be of use and what isn't. Um, I'm gonna try and keep things pretty minimal because I don't think you need a whole lot for the baby. Uh, I generally transition my babies about three months into their own room just because I like to have my space back with my husband. I don't like to have my babies in my room for too long. But again, this is my last baby, so I might feel differently when she comes along. But as for now, she's gonna be in here for the first little bit. So let's have a look what we've got here. By the way, everything, her whole nursery is done. These are things that I've pulled out of her nursery. And I might change them out here and there, but for now this is what I'm going to have in here. This little stool is really cool and I wanted something like this to one, kick my feet up, and two, I wanted some storage. So this has got a really good lot of storage in it and I am dedicating this to feeding supplies, nursing supplies, things that I'm going to need when I am sitting down nursing. It also doubles as a side table, which I love. So again, I can have like a cup of tea there or some snacks. So this little side table, um, I bought it on Amazon. I think I paid about C, maybe $50 for it. It wasn't overly expensive and it's really cool. Like it's got a decent amount of storage in there. I'll show you what I've gotten here in terms of my feeding supplies because again, fourth time mom, I've been pretty successful with my nursing. Um, aside from my first baby, he didn't go so well. So this is solely going to be nursing in here, um, just so it is accessible. I gave my first and my second bottles. They took them. My third absolutely refused. Easton did not want to take a bottle. I exclusively fed him until till he was about 11 months old and then I just cut it off. So in here I've got my hucker pump which generally I just use for the letdown on the other side when I am starting to nurse. I didn't use it a whole lot with Easton but it is still handy to have. I've got the little baggies to store milk in. I've got a couple of pacifiers. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll probably put these um, in my side table. These are newborn pacifiers. So the Wabanab. I thought it was great and then I've got um, the same kind without the toy attached to it. Then I've got some nipple shields. These saved me so much with, don't think I used them with Hudson my second but I used them with Easton. So in the beginning when their mouths are really little, nipple shields just saved my butt. They were amazing and I used them for maybe the first month or two and then we transition off them and he fed amazingly by himself so I bought a new set this time because I did not want to have to go and race out last minute to get them like my husband did with Easton after my midwife suggested them so nipple shields are where they're at and I've also got some reusable nursing pads these ones are from Bear and Moo they're a New Zealand company and I love their products I have a bunch of their cloth diapers and this time around I bought their reusable, oh my goodness, look at this, their reusable breast pads. So I'm going to show you what I've got. And it also came in this little baggie. I think I paid extra for it. Um, I've also got some Honest Calm Your Nip Balm. I never really use nipple cream, but just for the sake of having nipple shields, it really helps if you've got something on your nipples just to help heal them. I've got a set of one, they're actually quite large interesting because my last ones were this size which is actually quite small compared so I'm kind of interested to see how these are going to look under my clothes because they are so big it's got like a kind of um, bamboo sided situation highly absorbent bamboo this one's got a microfiber this one's different and then it's got like kind of a slippery um, I don't even know what this is kind of satiny um, side to it and then, you know, you wash them in that. These are um, burp cloths. Burp cloths are essential when you are nursing. This is a sweet little print that my friend actually made for, the, for me here in America. I think she's made me, how many? Four of these, these kind of burp cloths, which is great. It's gonna be really handy. And then I've got three kind of pre-folded diapers, but they are very thick and they can double as burp gloss. So that is like my little nursing station. Oh, and I'm really excited about these. So these I found on Amazon. This is a Hakka silicone colostrum collector. Guys, 
genius. Now I'm on my fourth baby and I don't know why I haven't thought of a way to collect the colostrum in the beginning because I always resort to a spoon and I'm scared I'm going to like contaminate it. These are such a good idea. I found them on Amazon. They buy the brand Hacker and it's basically just a little like tube. It's got your measurements in it on the side there and then you can pop this little lid off like that opens the whole thing and then this one pops off too. This is going to be when she's brand brand new. You kind of squeeze the colostrum into there and just put it in your, in your mouth. Well your uncle it's a little feeder for that first little bit before your milk comes in. Genius. All right we're going to get a little bit more comfortable on the floor which I'm excited about because I've been moving around the room and I'm pretty tired at this point. Okay so I have got some swaddles here. Swaddles are a big deal to me because the fabrics for swaddles really do matter. So I opt always for cotton. I have a few different options here. I've got more of like a heavier knitted blanket. We have a fan in our room, so chances are that it will get a little bit hot cold sometimes for her. And then I've got smaller swaddles here. They are an amazing like light stretchy swaddle. My husband loves these because they're so it's so easy to like swaddle baby when you've got this much stretch to work with. So I've got one, two, and three. And then I've got your traditional kind of muslin blanket. This one is really big and it is that really soft kind of summery. It doesn't have stretch to it. You guys can see this is massive. This is also from Bear and Moo. So I've got a few blanket options here. Um, as for clothes, I have got, these are all, these are all newborn sizes. I have got one, two, three, four, like, footy pajamas. Easton lived in these for this first little bit. Like, they're just such a good idea because they're just practical. And the zip kind of comes from the bottom. I've actually put these in, like, my favourites um, newborn video. I'll link it up here. I did that with Easton. I got a couple of hats. These are from the brand Cute New York. I found these on Amazon. And these are cool because nobody thinks about this except this brand. There's no tag inside, so there is no scratchy tag to annoy baby. Hats are one of those things that you might not need. It just pays to have them. Got a couple of pairs of socks, just little socks, you know, whether again she'll use them. I don't know. And then I got a couple of onesies, just in case in the middle of the night there's like a blowout. And then a little pair of pants. Again, I've left it super minimal. You just don't need a lot. So I'm going to put this above the bassinet and see how it looks. And then I've also got some multi-surface wipes. These are from the brand Hello Bello. I'm going to be changing her in the middle of the night with the change pad. This is just to wipe it just in case. And then this little hook, this little thing. I'm going to hang my... And I think for the bed, this little thing is a wool underlay that my mum bought me back in New Zealand with my first baby. So it's pure wool. It basically helps them regulate their heat at night, um, keeps them comfortable. So I've used this with all my kids and then when I'm done with this in the bassinet, I'm going to transition it into the crib. And then another thing that I do is I always have a heat pack. So heat packs are so handy you guys. I use them for labour and I use them to warm up the bassinet or the crib whatever they're sleeping in before they get in so it doesn't kind of startle them with anything cold. Okay so you've just got a tiny little mattress here and I'm just going to use this little wall thing to wrap around it. So I'm just going to use a regular size crib sheet. I'm going to get more use out of crib sheets than I am bassinet sheets. My whole baby setup here is very minimal. Like there are little, there are little like things that I thought about this time that might be different. But in terms of what I need, it's not a whole lot. I don't do diaper genies. I don't do change tables. I don't do, gosh, I don't even do monitors. I don't do sound machines. I don't do like special night lights. The only night light that I do swear by that I love and I have in each of my rooms is a salt lamp. I love the glow of a salt lamp. So this is what we've got for the for the mattress. So let's get on to like what I'm gonna do for the diaper kind of station and what I'm gonna need. I've got a bunch of diapers here. 
Again, newborns, you always need a lot of diapers. This is just the beginning. I don't want just like an influx of diapers because I can't store them and they're just annoying. They're kind of an eyesore. So, and then again, if you just have too many and you don't use them all, I don't really see the sense in that. So what I do is I do subscriptions. I did it with East and it worked really well because basically they just keep sending them to you and then you can just stop them when you don't need them anymore. I think I started with Hello Bello and then I had a subscription with Abby and Finn. With Easton, it worked really well. This time I've gone back to Hello Bello because you get freebies, it's cool. But right now, these are just like miscellaneous Pampers ones that I think I was given, so I'm gonna use these ones up first. I have a little changing mat. I just have this in the room and you just kind of like fold it out like this and it's wipeable, it's washable. I just kind of moved it around the house that I needed. I've got a few more this time, but again, changing tables, I just don't, I don't see the sense in them. And again, I've got my Hello Bello wipes so I can always wipe it down and I keep some wipes. These are just Millie Moon. Again, just to start start me off, I might, you know, again, you go through so many wipes. I've got a Honest Soothing Bottom Wash. Um, I make my own of this, but I'm kind of curious to see how Honest do it. I think this will be really good on a newborn bottom. Um, I've got some little diaper baggies, uh, rubbish bags. You just put a smelly diaper in here, which is great. I've got some Honest All Purpose Balm. Again, this is going to be good just for like diaper rash or anything. I generally just use coconut oil and then if I bathe them, I put a little powder on their skin, a little bit of coconut oil and it kind of stops the friction of the diaper against their skin. So this is kind of the alternative. It's just a little mini honest all purpose balm. And then I did have a hand sanitizer. So this is just like for, for your middle of the night kind of, you know, changing situations. And then I'm gonna put the webinar up and the other pacifier in here so I don't think these are gonna stay in here for long I'm just gonna leave these in here my toddler's probably gonna come and take all this out but so this is like my side table and I'm going to keep this here I think <laughs> hopefully he won't get into it I don't know and then this is just gonna be my like little night light with my side table and I'm actually gonna store this actually under here that's just my sure so that is pretty much what I've done guys you can see my like setup I'll show you guys um I'm really happy with it. it looks really good I think it's functional like your middle of the night kind of run where you just have to quickly pull out a diaper and then all your bits and bobs at the back there I'm psyched this looks great how cute is this so this is her little sleeping nook blankets wipes clothes and that is mama's stuff and then my footstool which can also double as a side table like that so i could move that over to the side there if i want but right now this is what i've got and i think it's great i'm really happy with it i think it's a really good idea really cool setup for my bedside nursery and then my salt lamp, my bed, my little change supplies. There we have it guys, I finished. I'm psyched, I really love the way that it looks. It looks, it's very girly, it's very feminine and fresh. And you know, things are gonna change when you have like a baby, you kind of learn what, what, what works and what doesn't work. And then you know, again, babies are different. All babies are different. So that is everything guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and join me in my next baby related video. I think it might be her nursery tour. I'm not quite sure, but I'm coming at ya. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.